Okay, so I'm going to do another demonstration using the jelly plate. Um, we're going to start again with the sunshine yellow. Inking up the bray roller. Transferring the colour straight onto the jelly plate. This time I'm going to use citrus. And then starting from the other side, to join somewhere in the middle. Now I'm going to use Purple Twilight. colour we're going to use is strain. Okay, so we've got our background done. Now we're going to start stamping onto it. So starting with uh, one of our border stamps, simply place that down and then choosing a colour, we're going to use the Imperial Purple. Inking up Now I'm going to take off the very first impression so it's a little lighter so just pop that down there there we go and then moving on to our floral spray inking up this time in the deep lagoon I'm just going to pop that down over here and then do a second impression there now remembering not to press hard on these you literally have to just touch onto the jelly plate and that's enough to give you uh, a lovely impression. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to use the crimson red with our fairy lanterns. And then we're going to use our fairy pod and picking another colour we'll use Olympia Green. So we're just building up lots of layers, colours, textures to create this wonderful background that we can silhouette stamp over the top. So using our matte card now, our matte really smooth white card, simply just run your hand over the top of that ensuring you cover that whole area. And hopefully, fingers crossed, will come out with a really nice background and there we go okay so moving on I'm just going to um, trim these edges down now
like so. And then picking one of our fairy stamps, we'll have um, our new fairy on a, on a snail. So inking her up, this time in the onyx black. And then we're just going to pop her down round about here. Give that a good press down. Now because our fairy is floating we, we need to ground her. So using torn paper and our crafting mat We've got some torn paper here that we're going to pop down over the top of the base of the snail. So I'm going to use the eggplant. So inking up our cut and dry, we're going to take that just over the edge and this creates really nice mountains or hills and it's just great for grounding things. So there we go. Now while we've got the sheet here we're going to go around the edge again using our cut and dry. This time I'm going to use um, purple twilight and stream to go around the edge. So inking up again the cut and dry, we're going to work our way around the edge. And now turning on to stream. And there we go. So you can see how much all these textures actually come through underneath. Quite amazing. Okay, so lastly, we're going to use the liquid pearls and we're just going to dot that around the lantern here. And then the glitter in our nice little puffer bottle. And then simply tap that off and there we have our other card.